Now, it is said that it is the questions that, that has moved science more than the answers. Okay? Now, uh, Maxwell, Maxwell did something that could be, that could be say called a prank of a high school student or something. He suddenly asked this question. If you are trying to charge a capacitor, so this is a capacitor, so if you are trying to charge a capacitor, okay. I have put this resistance so as to limit the current so as not to maybe burn this capacitor. If you are trying to, to charge this and I know that in the steady state what is going to happen to the current? The capacitor starts behaving as an open circuit in the steady state, is it not? It becomes an open circuit. So, in the steady state, there will be no current here. But while the capacitor is charging, we know there will be some current here, right? Correct? Now, what he did, he said, suppose, suppose while, while charging, okay? While the capacitor charges, there is a transient current, there is a transient current in the circuit, okay. There is some current in the circuit. In the steady state, the capacitor behaves as an open circuit. As an open circuit. So, so there is no current in the steady state. In the steady state. Now this is C. So while charging, Maxwell asked this question, okay fine, while you are charging it, I am asking you a question and it will really look to you like a prank. Okay, and maybe in Indian schools, we would have dismissed it as a prank. Okay, and you will see really such a commonsensical question that should have been, could have been asked by any student. Or maybe it could have crossed the mind of any student. But the trouble is, we do not take care or pains to pursue such questions. He pursued it and see what he came up with. He asked a very simple question. While the capacitor is getting charged, while the capacitor is getting charged, fine. Okay? So there is some current here. Obviously, there is some current here. No? What is happening during charging? What happens during charging? This, this positive terminal picks up electrons from here and keeps on depositing on, on the other plate. So, so the electrons flow like that, right? And that's why the current is like that. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. 
So he asked a very, very simple question. So while the capacitor is getting charged and the wire is carrying current, which we know from here, and the wire is carrying current, he asked us this. He said, fine, I want to find out a B here. I want, uh, I want to find out B here, okay? And he argued that this is, this is, this is a plate, right? Say, say, if this is, if this is a circular plate, hmm, this end of the capacitor, so, so it is something like that. And the other one is also a circular plate. Correct? So, since the, since this is symmetrical, since the whole thing is symmetrical, okay, about this, so, so the B here or the B here at the same distance, that is, that should be the same, is it not? There is a circular disc, circular, now at a distance say 1 centimeter from here, if you move around this wire in a circle, you will find it to be symmetrical. Why? No? Is it not symmetrical? So, so for example, say this is the disc and, and this is the wire. So, so I am, I am, I am here or here or here or here or here or here or there, wherever. Does it matter? On the surface of the disc or? No, 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 away from here, here, here. No, there is, there is a, a, a circular symmetry, is it not? That means if, if everything is closed and I suddenly move you here, you will not be able to know that you have been moved, either with respect to this or with respect to this, if you have no other reference point. But if the uh, distance from the wire changes? No, no, I am not, still not talking about that. I am not talking about the distance from the wire getting changed. At the same distance. on a circular path currently because because maybe it is not an infinite wire so maybe if i move here or there then there'll be some some changes had it been an infinite wire there would have been a cylindrical symmetry okay maxwell wanted to calculate the magnetic field the magnetic field Maxwell wanted to calculate the magnetic field at a point A C okay let us say at, at, at a point A, at some distance, fine, that, that is not important at what distance. He argued that there will be a circular symmetry, as, as we said, at the same distance away from the wire, around it, the field should be the same. He argued that at the same distance away from the wire, the field would remain the same. Due to a circular symmetry. I am not saying cylindrical symmetry, because I told you it is not an infinite wire. Had it been an infinite wire, I would have said cylindrical symmetry. Okay? 
So, and what will he do for this? He'll apply, he'll apply Ampere's law. Okay? He applied Ampere's law for that. He applied Ampere's <coughs> law for it. Saying that, okay, B dot DL over this circular path should be equal to mu naught into I enclosed. That we have done earlier, right? This is what, what Ampere's law says. He said, you had taught us that this I enclosed can be found in two ways. Is it not? Way number one, I had told you if, if say this is your circular path and say this is your current, okay. How do I know the I enclosed? I had told you there could be two ways, either you put a, a diaphragm over the loop and see what current pierces it, literally pierces it. So that was one, so he said fine, so I am using that, I am using that and, and, and if this current is I, then I get it as current piercing the diaphragm, that is one of the ways of piercing, piercing the diaphragm. The, the second way we said was, it is not essential that you always do that, so you just leave it alone, you, you, you just don't bother about it. You just remove this. Remove this. You could also make a surface whose rim is, is this, this loop. Okay. So, so current piercing the surface whose whose mouth is the circular loop or is is the loop. It could be any loop actually. So you understand it's kind of a picture kind of thing. Hmm? It's it, it's a three D. Then only it will be a surface. Otherwise, it will not be a surface. Correct. So so it's a three D. So so it is like this is circular, and then you know you put a picture, or you put a pot. Okay. You understand? Or or then what do we measure? Then whatever current pierces the surface. Current piercing the surface whose mouth is the loop. That also does the, the does the same thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But it is not. This fellow did this. He said, fine. Fine. This holds. From here, he said. B dot DL is equal to mu naught I agreed. Fine. He said, fine, I'll utilize this facility. So he said this. This. Now what happens? From from the first fundamental of your enclosed current, I get this. From the second fundamental of of your of your concept of Ampere's law, you get this. So in one you get B dot DL is equal to a non-zero thing to the right. In the other you get B dot DL equal to zero to the right. And it is the same B. B is the magnetic field that we are trying to calculate. Now this is a, a dilemma. Mm -hmm. 
and the normal normal approach of anyone would have been to just dismiss it as a stupidity okay at least the way we are conducting our education system nowadays anyone would have been brushed away or maybe had maxwell been an indian he would have said that ampere is a hoax ampere is an idiot this is wrong <clears throat> and very fortunately since he was not undergoing any of the trauma of our education system so neither he condemned this nor was he condemned by any of his colleagues he went ahead he said ampere's law is correct it's still not wrong okay now if it is still not wrong there has to be some current here that means in the space which is a vacuum or or at the best it has some air into it in that space there should be a current he did not brush aside the ampere's law you get it so he said fine there is something here there is something here now what is that something if there is something then what is that what is that now now he was again faced with a problem if there is a current here of which there is no sign right of which there is no sign and still there is a current then it must be something that is related to the variation of the charge look at how close the answers are and it's only our positive or negative attitude that changes the whole thing mm -hmm. you got that you got zero mm -hmm. you got that as a thing but uh, according to no 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 he he said that that there is a contradiction here if i take these two ways of finding taking out the current and he said no there there should be no 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 problem here so the problem lies here that means there should be a current here hmm no it was working fine for everything it was working fine for for all the these things so 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 in the discontinuity also it should be working okay so so he said fine now if that is the case it must be related to something that is changing in between what is happening the charge is getting this is getting more and more positive this is getting more and more negative so there must be something related with that now while studying the capacitors we know we have studied that that the what is what is the field between say say i have got a capacitor okay it has been charged say plus q and minus q what is the field between the capacitor plates it is it is e is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught what is sigma sigma is the surface charge density which is given by q upon a we have derived this while doing the capacitors it comes from gauss's law okay so he said fine it is this which is changing right e is changing okay so so e is e is q upon a tell not so he said fine fine let us try to see what is changing due to this changing q Q is equal to E A into epsilon naught. What is E A? It is E dot A, is it not? E dot A is nothing but electric flux. No, it is phi E. It is electric flux because it is being created due to an electric field. So he said, fine. What next? So there should be a current due to this. So he said, d Q upon d T is equal to 